I died and I was in this black abyss falling so fast and I was so scared and the first thing I said was the shahad but I screamed Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah Allahu Akbar I said it like eight times screaming and my soul told me you're wrong it's not true you are going to hell for eternity so as I'm falling so fast down it's pitch black all I see is this white light flying around me in circles fast I knew it was my guardian angel and it was coming from this ear to this ear, back and forth. Amir, Amir, you have to listen to me, please, please. And this angel was so desperate for me. You have to tell him he can still hear you. Tell Jesus to save you before your soul leaves your body. Hurry, hurry, do it now, do it, do it. And I'm still, and like, while I'm falling, I'm like, there's no way, how can this be? How can this be? How, how, how? You know, I'm even still denying him even in that moment. And I'm looking down and I see another, like a portal, a pit, at right before. Right before I went in that pit, I, I said, Jesus, please come into my heart and save me. And a big boom and a flash light, my soul came right into my body. It felt like a truck hit me. And my body came out of my bed. And me being the stubborn OCD person that I am, I wasn't like my uncle brave enough to get on my knees and ask Jesus to save me. So I said to myself, there's no way this is happening to me. There's no way I'm going to read the Quran. I would read it. And as I'm reading it, all I hear it more intense, intense. The only one who can save you, you have to tell him. It's all I keep hearing. And then when I came to the verse about the crucifixion of Jesus, that's when it sealed the deal for me. There is no way possible that the Almighty God will deceive and trick billions and trillions and billions of people that believed in Jesus. Because remember, Islam is 600 years after. So there's trillions and zillions of people that lived 600 year, within a 600 year span that believed in Jesus Christ. What about those people? Did they go to hell because they weren't Muslim? Jesus is the way and the truth and the life. And he did so much for me and he saved me and I owe him my life. I owe him everything as long as I could just reach one person and help that one person to seek. That's all that matters to me. Jesus says one lost sheep is worth more than the 99 and he will seek out that sheep if you seek him. And I love him and I'm so grateful and so gracious for him. I wrote, a, I wrote something. I titled it Jesus Happened because everybody that knows me, I did a lot of things in my life. I was a bad boy. He did not want me to go to hell. That's all I know. I know he loves me so much and he loves everybody so much. He did get crucified for and died for our sins so that way we, we can have eternal life and that's the key. You know how beautiful that is to have eternal, to know, not, not to think, but to know that we have eternal life. When I was Muslim, no matter what I did, I didn't have hope because I still knew that no matter how many times I prayed and stuff, I know my sins were outweighing that and I can never reach that goal that pinnacle and I'm not better than a Hajj that went to the Hajj and did all the five pillars I'm nothing compared to him so how am I how's God even gonna look at me can't emphasize it so much the feeling of being hopeless is hell more worse than hell itself this is what I wrote the precious truth but I speak what I know and I testify what I seen and heard with my eyes and my ears I don't let darkness or possible unbelief of my friends and family weigh one moment in the scale. I stand here before all of you to tell you what great things God showed me and did for me. Jesus is so glorious, so beautiful. All light inside of light. They, people ask me, when you see Jesus, what do you look like? All I can tell you is he's a light in a light, all glory. Jesus gave me the love, the healing, rest and security that 42 years of being a Muslim never even came close to. By the miracle of the Spirit of God, which the Spirit of God is who else but Jesus. I see so clear now. My eyes have been opened. There is nothing you can do to make yourself right before the Holy God. Only Jesus could accomplish this. Acts of religion and good works represent our attempts to bridge the divide between us and the Holy God. They will never work. No matter what you're gonna do, we can never come to the, the holiness of God. Adam did one sin and God kicked him out, one sin. We do many every single day. If we cannot know Jesus was crucified, we can know nothing about history at all. Christ's death on the cross is the most certain fact of anyone in history. When I accepted Jesus into my heart, I was in a different world. Everything was different to me. It was like walking on a cloud. I felt a complete transformation in my mind and in my heart. When I seen Jesus, I felt an energy coming out of his hand, going straight through my body. My whole body started to shake like electricity from the power coming from him. I know when I die, I will be with the same Jesus whom I saw 
heard and talked. He doesn't lie and he doesn't break promises. He promises eternal life to the ones who believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. It was all for us that who shall believe will have eternal life. I considered myself a proud Muslim. For people that say, oh, you know, that, that might watch this video that I might be fa a fake Muslim, just to show you that I used to wear this and show this off proudly. It says, Allahu Akbar Islam, just to show that this is not a game. So I consider myself a proud Muslim, but I still could not renounce the possibility of the reality of Jesus. It was not even within my power to do so. Jesus never left my thought, not even for a second. Some might think I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. I seen and heard too much to not believe. When I seen Jesus, I knew instantly it was him. I don't know how I knew, only I knew it was Jesus. No words can ever describe that feeling. So many near-death accidents happened to me throughout my life. Though I didn't know it at the time, it was entirely supernatural. Only he could have done it. All my life, he had been protecting me, leading me on the path to himself. And this is what where I am today. To tell everybody that without Jesus, you have no hope, you have no life, you have no peace, you have no love. He is the bread of life. He is the light of the world. He is the life giver, the life taker. And without him, nothing can ever be done. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for saving me. And thank you all for being here. And I love every one of you. Thank you.